The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good evening. Welcome, everyone, to week three of our Level Up Web Center contest. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about marketing, content writing, and how best to get the most uh, out of once a beautiful website is completed with MA Web Centers, how the client can get the most out of that website and market the website going forward. And they shouldn't be nervous about the digital aspect of marketing. <clears throat> My name is Chip Emily. I am your host tonight for week three. Uh, I'm a Web Center trainer and Web Center Pro uh, member. Um, and I've been with Web Centers for many, many years, uh, back since version 1.0 uh, of the software. So it's been quite a long time. Uh, it's a phenomenal platform. And what I hope to show you tonight are aspects of that platform and ways you can help to build share of customer uh, right along to uh, as you're creating a web, beautiful website and web presence. All right, so without any further ado, I will show my screen. So marketing, well, what is that? Promotion, uh, branding, advertising, right? Research. You've all heard of digital marketing, I'm sure, at this point. And we'll talk a little bit about how that overlays into a website solution. So what is digital marketing? Well, it's really the marketing of products and services using digital channels to reach consumers. And as I mentioned, uh, you know, businesses uh, are maybe intimidated by the phrase digital marketing, but it really is just the same marketing they've been doing, but through digital channels versus through offline channels. And why is that important? Well, because everyone's plugged in. We are in a digital world. I mean, think of it this way, you know, think about how much content you consume yourself as a web center owner or prospective web center owner. You get your news, we socialize, research on products, finding the products and services, playing games, uh, you know, getting music and books, even advice. All of it now can be done online. And really, that's where we're headed most of the time, as you'll see. So the world is online. Local businesses and organizations need solutions to compete in that marketplace, right? And it really becomes an equalizer. Now, a small business in a local area could have a website presence the same as a large organization that might be global. Uh, and they want to reach their same scale of base of customers through their website and through their marketing efforts. But without a full solution, they really can't reach out to their potential consumers and existing consumers in a meaningful way. So we have our website. And yes, we've got SEO, we have forums, blogs, digital marketing, social media. All of that really becomes more of a campaign, not just a static website. And some may say, oh, I have a business Facebook page. I don't need a website. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth because, yes, Facebook is a component of this campaign that I'm speaking of. But really, the website is their online HQ. It is their online headquarters. So the, the social media, whether it be Instagram or Facebook, LinkedIn, that all helps in the overall picture that they're trying to portray. So when we look at websites, and we're looking at that component of it in, uh, at this moment, we need websites that work. And what makes them work? Well, one is branding. So when you look uh, at a client's website, does it make a, does it have a clear sense in business of who they are? And, then you, and you want to ask those questions. And is it consistent with other marketing collateral that may already have? In some cases, they, it may be a mix match, and you can certainly help them, guide them through the digital marketing process toward making it all more cohesive. Uh, is their content accurate? So you know, customers expect up-to-date content when we go and look at a website. So is their website easy to update? Is it updated? You know, one thing I look for, uh, I'll give you a small tip, is look at the copyright date at the bottom of a website. If it is not this current year, 2019, 
It may be 2018, it might be 2017. I've seen websites that are 2013 or 14 or 15. That's a clear indication. Not maybe the definitive indication, but certainly a clear indication that perhaps their content is not up to date. And that is something we can rectify. The user experience. Visitors should be able to easily navigate uh, and use the website. So the question is, you know, is the website visually appealing? Is it easy to use? Is it mobile friendly? You know, mobile is such a huge part of our lives. And sometimes the mobile aspect of navigating a site may be different than a desktop version. And we have to make sure that uh, the site will work with both. And can visitors interact with you and with the business? And then the audience. Is it built not only for existing customers, but new and incoming customers, prospective customers? So is the content written that way for different visitors? You know, when we talk about mobile, well, I'll tell you what, mobile matters more than ever these days. 80% of millennials have their smartphone with them all the time. And not only with them, usually it's in front of them, right? <laughs> with their thumbs glued to the keypad. 85% of adults ages 18 to 49 use multiple devices simultaneously. How many of us are sitting in front of a TV screen, you know, 40, 50, 60 inch TV. Meanwhile, we have this device that's four to six inches in our hand. And some of us even have a laptop in, on our lap as well. We literally have three screens going all at the same time. And that's not uncommon. It happens all the time. Maybe you are watching TV, you see an ad for something, guess what? You're going to pick up your mobile phone, mobile device, and do research and search on the ad you just saw. And then we have how customers provide products and services. You know, 81% of shoppers conduct online research before making any huge purchases, whether it be appliances, cars, electronics. They look at reviews. They look at reviews on services. They look at reviews when they compare even uh, you know, in the IT field, if they're looking at huge software purchases, they might compare one thing against another. So online, uh, the ability for a business, for a client that you may have, to have information on their site. So if I'm a consumer, I know I can go to that site and look up information and get the information I need to make a purchase. And back to our topic about content, if there's enough content on there and they really done their homework. I might go with them anyway, simply because the breadth of content they offered me in making my decision. When it comes to mobile, mobile commerce now makes up a third, a third of all US e-commerce. That's huge. And it's only gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Mobile is gonna take more and more precedence with every coming year. So we talk about you know, making a website work. Well, why does this website work in particular? Well, it's a clear sense of branding. The content is easy to read. It's very visual. So in this case, we're using some stock photography because many businesses don't have professional photos taking uh, of what they need. So we need a little bit of help on the content area so we can, we can help provide that. It's responsive. So what that means is it fits all the different screens that a client a customer of them, even a potential customer, may be using, whether it be uh, you know screens 22 inches, 27 inches, whether it be a laptop 12, 14, 15 inches, uh, a tablet 7 or 8, 9 inches, or even a mobile phone, which could be 4.5 to 6.5 inches in size. All those different screen sizes need to be accommodated because you don't know what the potential customer is going to be looking at at that business. And then interactive. This website in particular, you can see there, there are calls to action, uh, request a quote, call us now, call us today. That's information that's helpful for the prospective customer to interact with, uh, with that business. At the same time, it provides information for also existing customers and new customers. In tips on insurance, frequently asked questions, the services they offer, all of that is huge. I'm a personal fan of frequently asked questions because I think that offloads some uh, you know, time that the business owner may have to spend answering questions. But if I can go to a site and I see frequently asked questions, I can go there. 
get some information I need, and I never have to bother that business owner to I'm ready to make a purchase. But I value they provided that information for me. Here's an artist. Why does this website work? Well, clear sense of branding again. Uh, it, it's beautiful on all platforms. There's a lot of it's easy to read. It's image driven because it's an artist, right? So we want that to have great imagery. It's interactive and allows for a shopping experience. So this is e-commerce enabled and a customer can go in and purchase, whether it be on a desktop, laptop, even mobile device. And it's written not only for fans of the artist, but also written for shoppers who wish to purchase from the artist as well. With our design center, we have beautiful sites uh, that they create. Again, I can't stress enough the mobile responsive nature of these sites. And you can see how the interface changes uh, with each device. Same thing with uh, the Black Pepper restaurant. Again, the images change. We have beautiful imagery, really kind of uh, sucks somebody into you know, how beautiful that food is. And call to action. We can book a reservation online right there, even from a mobile device. Here's another great uh, website. Again, uh, the, you know, the phone number is clearly visible. It, it says, hey, we, these are where we operate in central areas of Virginia. And it's got a map, information that's readily available to existing and new customers. Here's a great uh, for, um, school, preschool, if you will, for, um, for kids. And again, same thing. All the information is right there at a, a, a parent's fingertips to make the right decision. So then we look at content marketing. So we talked about the website, okay? And as we discussed earlier, the website is simply a piece of that larger campaign. The content strategy, 47% of buyers viewed three to five pieces of content before engaging a sales rep. Going back to my mention earlier about a frequently asked questions, I'm going to review all things about that website, frequently asked questions, list of services, maybe even pricing before I contact a sales rep to get more information. So as much pre-sales as I can do, and I think I'm not alone in this digital age, most people with ready access to not only the content, but the media in which to, to engage that content, they're looking for how can I get as much information as possible before I end up talking to an individual. And 96%, guys, almost 100%, of B2B buyers want content with more input from industry thought leaders. What does that mean? I want more information surrounding their product, surrounding their service, of, how, of what I can learn more about, even the market in which they do business in. And blogging certainly helps with that. With 53% of marketers saying blog content creation is their top inbound marketing priority. When I say inbound, I mean I'm not doing any pushing of information. I'm simply having that information out there and it's attracting people to review that information and therefore make better decisions about the product and services that a business may offer. Companies that consistently publish good content, we're talking 16 plus blog, post, blog posts per month, get four and a half times more leads than companies that only publish zero to four monthly posts. What does that mean? That means that the company that, you know, a business owner that may publish, ah, uh, maybe once a week, if that, right, inconsistently, just when they feel like it, well, they may get some leads, but the company that has a clear strategy of producing four or five blog posts per week are going to continually get activity and continuing to get more leads because there's more fresh content out there, which also helps them in their marketing efforts. So with our web solutions, we not only have that website, we have the maintenance, the social media, the digital marketing. We have so many options that really create a solution that's simple, synergistic, and accessible to our clients. And because they're professional, easy to maintain, secure, they're affordable, all-inclusive solutions, fully supported, and it really is a partnership with you as a web center owner MarketAmericaShop.com and MA Web Centers to help bring that solution to your to your clients, to your prospective customers. What makes us different is we're getting more than just a website. We're getting all the tools and the platform, the powerful platform behind the website that makes it all work. They're responsive, 
completely customizable, easy to edit drag and drop tools with landing pages, forms, lead capture. Business owner has complete control. They're in the driver's seat, but we'll help them to there every step of the way. They have social media, SEO, and other tools, everything available to them to make this site as successful as possible, but they're not alone. They're backed up by everything that we provide on the platform. And it's more than just a site, like I mentioned before, unlimited support, free upgrades, e-commerce, unlimited email accounts, contact management, email campaigns, photo galleries, easily to embed videos, SEO tools, CRM tools, metrics, unlimited site traffic, everything they need to make sure this platform is as comprehensive as possible for that client. And then on a monthly basis, we have web management and we have three levels to however best suit their needs. We have basic monthly management. It's very simple. Doesn't, this includes hosting, does not include customer management, Does not uh, only has live chat. So it's not 24 seven phone support, but it is 24 seven chat support and no e-commerce or email marketing. With their regular monthly membership, it includes emails, unlimited technical support 24 seven by phone to help them edit and maintain their website. Unlimited upgrades to the platform and also includes hosting. And then our monthly management membership, which is everything that that monthly membership includes and 10 hours of editing and content management and a free premium responsive layout every single year. Guys, I tell you what, the month, the managed monthly membership, if you have a busy business owner that they say, you know, I don't really have time to edit my website, that is the best deal going to have them backed by our customer care department, which will take care of those 10 hours of editing every single month. That's a lot of editing, a lot more than you think it is. And then of course we have our design options with our design center. It's, you know, they're guided with a project manager. They're able to put all the information in they want, the colors, the specs, the content, the pages they want. And we have several different packages to whatever tier for their budget and for what best fits their needs. Between the, the website design and the design center, the designers create a custom, beautiful design, the professional presence, strong branding, again, responsive, easy to manage. And it's just really, I can't say enough about the design center program and how beautiful these designs turn out. And it takes the guesswork out of the client's hands. They're not worried about, oh, how does this work? Yes, I may be able to put a picture here and this there, but is that going to be responsive? The design center takes care of that for them up front. They do the heavy lifting and then they're backed by 24 seven customer care. And that's just the website portion. Then we have e-commerce, all the e-commerce tools available, uh, pan and zoom, product tags, comparing products, a sales dashboard, configurable options for products, multiple billing, you name it. This has almost everything they need to be successful in selling products online. And then the power of unlimited. I mentioned some of these before, unlimited pages, unlimited changes, unlimited traffic, unlimited email addresses, unlimited web content storage, unlimited customer care and tech support. Guys, I can't tell you some clients I've run across that they get dinged when they have too much traffic come to their site or they're about to exceed their disk space. And it's not just a matter of saying, oh, just increase incrementally my storage space for the website. No, you have to jump to a whole other package. Typically, it's going to be 30 to 50% greater in cost than the package they're on, and all because they need more disk space. The value of the unlimited pieces you see on this screen, pages, changes, traffic, storage, just can't be measured. It really is. And when they understand that value and you communicate that value to the client, you have a platform that you can certainly be proud of offering and be confident is the best solution for them. And the best way to do that really is through a console. Learn, ask questions of that client. You've identified a few areas of need. Now schedule a 15, 20 minute console. These pads right here are absolutely wonderful to give you a guide of what to ask. You don't have to be nervous about Oh my gosh, I don't know what questions to ask. I don't know what information I need. You don't have to worry about any of that. Simply purchase one of these pads, 
You can buy them uh, for, uh, on unfranchise.com, U.S. only, a pad of 50 sheets, or you can even download the sheets from mawc411.com and download them and print them off as you need. But guys, they're invaluable. I mean, I have more than 25 years in website design and IT, and I still use these sheets because I may forget a question. You know, I'm talking to a client, I'm doing the consult. There might be something that I don't remember. I still print one of these sheets out. I have a legal pad beside me, and I note everything on the assessment and add the legal pad for additional notes. And that's what I use as my basis for when then I move on to the sale of the website. So these are invaluable and it allows you to ask the right questions to get the information you need to really provide success for you and for that client. And then, so if we look at some other benefits, here we have uh, a seafood restaurant and you can see this website. Yeah, a little dated, kind of a little, you know, back in the 90s kind of look, kind of retro, if you will, <laughs> right? And, uh, you know, they said, wow, having our website has increased our order out business substantially. We especially love the new email marketing system. It saved us money from having to have the service with constant contact. And better than that, it is simpler to manage because we took this site and created this site. And between the site and the email marketing tools already provided, we're able to, to give them a solution. Again, that's not just a website, but so much more. Same thing here, Diamond and Gold Connection. During the first year online, this was their site. Almost literally, I think, a printed copy of a newspaper ad that they put online, right? And now we were able to create a beautiful site for them. It includes uh, sales, represents the quality of their business, includes marketing tools, and now they've cleared more than six figures in online sales alone during the first year of selling online. So that more than made up for the investment in creating a new beautiful website that works for them. And some more uh, examples of beautiful design center packages. So here's before, okay, we have Wings Over Water, had two locations and they were spending way too much emailing information to their customers. Now, customers can book birthday parties online, get directions, register online, download a parent guide, navigate classes, identify which might be better for their child. And you can see is this beautiful, responsive site. Again, providing all the, you know, checking all the boxes really that we've talked about so far this night. Here we have Prepper Mill Catering. They've been a client of MA Web Centers for almost a decade. They started out as a home-based caterer and quickly soared to a full-time success with the site that we created for them. Because the new site was responsive, a more rustic look that's appropriate for the for what they were looking for. They can book consults right online and it created the menus and venues and everything they needed to provide to their clients. All the information for, again, the existing customers and prospective customers is available online, including, again, those call to actions, view menus, contact us, and Little Rascals Nursery. The owner knew it was time for a website. She had been in business 12 years, but she didn't want to spend a lot of money. She was nervous about the process, a little scared of the digital world. She was impressed by the demo that we provided for them and the breadth of what we could do. And, was, and even just what's the page, one page, she was seeing her results. Increase in enrollment, establish credibility and trust for prospective families. If you think you're a parent, you're going to look at a nursery. If you can't find them online, how are you even going to start that research process that we talked about earlier when 81% of people do research online before making a major purchase? I would think having our children go to daycare would be a major purchase. Don't you agree? We can post weather delays, email marketing, create a password protected area that you can post pictures of the kids for the parents. And we created a beautiful site, again, mobile responsive for little rascals. So those are just examples of how our solution is so comprehensive for a small to medium sized business to be able to be successful online, along with their online HQ with their website, but everything else around that website that helps make it a success. And all comes back to digital marketing. We can provide a beautiful site. We can provide that content writing. We can provide the marketing 
necessary because we're the pros. And again, we have to say we, that partnership. I can say we with total confidence because it is me backed by MA Web Centers. I am partnering with a company that has customer care representatives, digital marketing teams, design center teams. I don't have to be all of those things and wear all those hats. I can be the front end. I can be the ambassador, talking with that client, finding out their needs, and providing a solution that best fits their needs. Guys, I'm going to open it up for questions right now. Um, let me know what questions you have about what I've covered tonight so far. Okay, let's say I don't see the screen. You guys see the screen now, I hope, right? Okay, good. Excellent. Hi, Carmen. Where can I access the recording of the two previous sessions? Uh, I was I just joined the program and missed the last two sessions. So they will be on uh, either mawc411.com or on the YouTube channel, MA Web Center's uh, YouTube channel. So I encourage you to check that out. Um, so the video is available, Arvin. Uh, again, as I mentioned, it will be available as a recording where you can access and certainly review uh, those slides in that time. Hi, Jenny. Name is Chip Emily. Uh, again, I'm a Web Center trainer with MA Web Centers and MarketAmericaShop.com. My pleasure, Kalani. Hey, Carmen. Thank you very much. So the website samples uh, provided, uh, you can go to dc.mawebcenters.com and you'll see some of the examples there of design center uh, programs. All right, great. Christy, thank you. Again, Jamie, uh, go to dc.mawebcenters.com, which is DC for design center, and that'll help with any of the um, other examples you just saw tonight. My pleasure, Kristen. Carol, I do many consults over the phone because many of my prospective clients may not be geographically close to me. So absolutely, uh, I do many of those over the phone, so no problem there. It just, again, you know, I have a, a consult pad and I've got a legal pad and I'm taking notes outside of what they already offer, you know, in the questions I'm asking, I'm taking notes of other information and I have those two pieces together in a folder that I use for the project as we go forward. Uh, Sue, uh, the uh, Sue Ting, the, again, the recording will be available uh, again on MA Web Center's YouTube video or on MAWC411.com. My pleasure, Arvin. My pleasure, Jamie. Megan, the, the console pads are only available during um, in the U.S. for unfranchise.com. Lawrence, thank you very much. My pleasure. Clifford, you could do that, but really, um, you know, it's not really so. OK. Let me take a step back. Um, Clifford's question is, can we make a demo site before booking appointments with the sales team? When you create the first step of creating the appointment is creating the initial demo site. So with, when I say that, I mean, you pick a layout, you have a site name, and it creates a site for the client uh, based on that initial layout. You don't want to do a whole lot of customization because your time is better spent guiding that client into the sales process. Let the sales team go through the demo that they're used to going through, okay? Because they're gonna guide them through it and use your time, maybe that time you would spend customizing to go for another sale. dc.webcenters.com, Pamela. So there's a dot after uh, DC. Um, Antoinette, Antoinette's question, I'm not sure if you guys can see each other's questions, so I'll just repeat. I have a business who uses local chamber of commerce or another community site. They think that gives them the credibility 
although the info is minimal. Antoinette, we see this all the time. Um, there are, you know, site, they try to be helpful. Oh, you know, the site through Chamber of Commerce or through Assume, some other agency that helps a particular vertical market. What I mean by vertical market is restaurants or veterinarians or, you know, home builders, right? And so they could have way more credibility, Antoinette, if they have their own website on their own platform where they're controlling the design, they're controlling the marketing, and they can have certainly links to, to the uh, Chamber of Commerce. And I highly recommend that, including perhaps the logo of the chamber, if that's allowed, it will give way more credibility and credence to that business than uh, the site would. And many of those sites offered by chambers or by the towns are limited in their scope and, and what they can do in flexibility. My pleasure, Carol. The pricing on uh, the Design Center, Arvin, that is built into the price of the website. So when you price a website, and let's say you, you pick a, a Design Center package, it's the 249 cost of the site plus the Design Center package. And then that's cre that creates the total base cost of the website. So if the base cost of the website with Design Center package might be seven hundred dollars you know six ninety nine then anything above that is your profit so you want to um you want to price that accordingly so if you want to make six hundred dollars profit on the site and include a basic design center package you'd be talking about six ninety nine plus six hundred that's twelve ninety nine would be your retail price to the client and then you would have six hundred dollars in retail profit Actually, 700 I apologize, because the Design Center package includes uh, some profit built in as well. Okay, Rick, I have a serious prospect concerning Squarespace. How can I learn what distinguishes us from them? So uh, Squarespace, um, they create websites, their website platform, right? We are so much more than that. So what differentiates us right up the front, right off the bat, is that we have Design Center. We have the digital marketing team. We have 24 seven phone based customer care so that everything they need, we have content writing, social media marketing, everything we need is all in one place for them to utilize and a completely unlimited space. So as much as they want, as much content as they want to upload, they can upload that content. Jason, thank you very much, my pleasure. Jessica, uh, how would you start a conversation with a business owner in person? Jessica is a new web center owner in Boston, Massachusetts. All right. I think a Red Sox fan, I would imagine. Uh, Jessica, so you start a conversation really just naturally. Uh, perhaps it's a restaurant that you frequent or maybe another service that you frequent. Uh, you know, um, for those of you who know me, I like to eat. Eating's good. So, uh, you know, if it's a restaurant, for example, you may simply say, you know, especially if you know them, they see you often. Uh, you might say, well, I'm in here all the time, you know, and I went to your website, but I couldn't find a menu or I noticed the website wasn't up to date. You know, uh, you know, do you have anybody currently working on that? Are you happy with your current site? So look for some, ask some questions. Always ask questions and find out what you can offer them and just listen to what they're going to what they're going to say. Right. And they may say, oh, yeah, we got somebody working on it. Right. Which might be standard. And then you say, oh, really? Are you happy with that? And then you may find out that it's the owner's nephew's girlfriend's cousin's, you know, boyfriend. And they're working on the site and they can't find him with a flashlight after three months and they don't know what to do. But he doesn't want to say that. Well, maybe you could pull that information out and say, you know, I'd love to offer uh, a, you know, a no obligation, 10, 15 minute consult just to learn more about what you do and how maybe we can help because I happen to be partnered with a company that provides online solutions for businesses just like yours. Don, thank you very much. My pleasure. Do we have a homework assignment for this week? Good question, Richard. Let me Find out more about that. Carol, cold calling websites. 
um, you know, that can be done and sometimes that has been done. But it's one of those situations where you're going to get a lot of rejection. There's a lot of um, time spent, you know, going through that process, unless you're used to that, if that's your background. But really, the majority of sites sold are really sold just by, you know, entertaining products and services and companies that we already deal with on a regular basis or that are near us. Maybe there's a restaurant, going back to my restaurant example, that you haven't visited before, but you've been to their site and see that it may not be up to date, right? So maybe that's the time that you visit that that uh, restaurant. Maybe try them out. And that gives you an opportunity to A, try something new, and B, maybe learn more about their business and have a potential website customer. So, you know, I say that, and as a matter of fact, the homework for this week is to do just that. Add names to your list. Do some website research. Start those conversations, right? Make a list of some restaurants in your area and look at their websites first before you even go visit them and see, you know, see what, uh, what's happening there. Start new conversations. And then for new web center owners, you know, review all the tools and resources you have available. Again, MAWC 411 is an invaluable tool to, uh, you know, to really research everything we have with MA web centers. It, it's got everything you need. It's in one place. And between that and the YouTube channel, all the content is there. Uh, and the blog, the blog channel, blog to mawebcenters.com. Thank you, Clifford. Uh, Jason mentioned the recorded webinar will be mailed out to all the Level Up Challenge participants. Won't be available on YouTube until after we're done the contest. So because you're a Level Up Challenge participant, you will get emailed this recording of this webinar. Otherwise, it will not be available on the YouTube channel or mawc 4 com until after the whole contest is complete. All right, thank you, Carmen. I'll make sure to repeat questions. Megan asks, how would you approach a client who has a crappy website and would benefit from MA Web Centers? Well, again, this goes back to asking questions. So it's what you don't want to say is, um, wow, dude, man, your website sucks. Because you never know if maybe the owner's son is doing the website or daughter or, you know, spouse or brother or sister. And, you know, so you might offend them. So you want to be really careful. And it's best in my mind, to always ask questions. You can't get in trouble for asking a question, right? Lord knows I've been more trouble by making a statement than I have by asking a question. So simply ask a question. Hey, I noticed I was on your, I was online. I was looking for this piece of information. Um, you know, so um, if this website you're talking about, Megan, if you're being specific about one in particular, are there things missing from their site that you as a, cl as a potential customer or a customer we're looking for. Then you could ask, hey, you know, I was, I was on your site and I just realized that there, I was looking for some questions I didn't see answers to, or if it was a restaurant again, I didn't see your updated menu. You know, are you happy with who you're currently working with? And that is a question. And they could say, yes, I'm very happy because he's very proud of his brother or sister, son, daughter, spouse, what they're creating. Or again, you know, he, he's got somebody else doing it, he's not happy with them. So the more questions you ask, the more information you're gonna find, Megan. Is there a limit to the size of the companies that would find these sites effective? Good question, Antoinette. Typically up to about 100 employees. Uh, and that's not, a, that's not a set rule. You, know, you just never know what a, cl what a client might need. You may have a large company that may have 200 employees, but the nature of their product or service is such that they don't need a very law, a very complex, sophisticated website that's beyond our scope. I'm not to, not to say that our platform is not sophisticated and comprehensive. Just that you know, if you look at the site of like Ford Motor Company, well, that is quite a website, and that size of organization needs a website that size. But you may have a, a site that again may fit their needs. So that goes back to, I know I'm 
I sound like a broken record, uh, Antoinette, but it's asking questions. Find out what their needs are. Do a consult. You may find out that our website is exactly what they need and it's perfect for them. Guys, there's power in this platform that most of our clients never even scratch the surface of. And MA Web Centers can actually do larger projects on a proposal based um you know, on a, on a proposal basis. So that's a whole different thing. You know, you get in touch with MA Web Centers and, and do it. There's a proposal done and we're talking projects that are five, ten thousand dollars or more. But you know, ask questions, find out the information and see what comes can we see what comes of it. My pleasure, Antoinette. Would the pricing of the, of the uh, design center be confusing to the retail customer to see? Arvin, no, it wouldn't uh, because, remember, I, I didn't use the word wholesale or retail when I was talking about it earlier. That's the price either way. What that allows us to do is offer it a la carte, even at a later date. So a uh, client could purchase a website and maybe they purchased it for $9.99 or $12.99. And then they can add, the, there's even a, a way, a checkbox, you can add it into an upsell into the selling process. And they could see, oh, I can add a design center package for $399. You could sell it that way as well. You could put your profit in the front and say, I want to make $600 on this site. So I'm going to sell this for $999 and then include the upsell of the design center package that they can see and you can mention to them. And you know what, Mr. Customer, we have a complete design center package. It's available to you where we can do the heavy lifting. And it's there and they can see the price and they can they can add that. Or when the sales team is doing the walkthrough and the demo, it allows them to upsell. So you can do it either way. That's why it's not really wholesale or retail pricing. It's the price of the package. It's whether you build it in ahead of time or build it in after. Lawrence asks, uh, the Web Center Challenge starts today. Can you let us know how this works and what is involved? Not sure if this is your department. Um, it is the Level Up Challenge. This is week three, so we've already started the challenge. Uh, I believe you can still enroll in that challenge. Um, I'm confirming that right now. And I'll, get, I'll come back with Lawrence with an answer for you on that. Ginny, uh, pricing. You need to include the base price cost of platform plus profit plus first month. Yes, that's correct. Um, that's what I was talking about to Arvin in the first example is that you can do it that way. 250 plus the design center package and then whatever profit you want built in. And then the price at the end includes the first month's monthly maintenance. Whether it's the seventy-nine dollars or the uh, one forty-nine or the nineteen, but you could also do it where it's the cost of the website plus the profit plus the first month's maintenance, and then allow them to see they can upgrade to a design center package. Um, so Jason mentioned that Jessica, there is a WCT one hundred and one in person. Uh, in Braintree, Massachusetts on Saturday with none other than the awesome, amazing, dynamic Jason Pelland. So I highly recommend if you're in the area or anywhere near that area that you get to that uh, you get to that training. It's an in, in-person training. It'll give you some great uh, you know tools, techniques, kind of give you the basics in the five C's and our simple selling process. And Lawrence, you can uh, open and roll into the Level Up Challenge anytime up to the end of the contest. So I wouldn't. I would recommend enrolling earlier rather than later at this point, so you can continue to move forward uh, every week. And each week, the web the webinars are mailed out uh, with a list of webinars to the participants. <laughs> Clifford said, "98 days between the Red Sox and the Pats." Championships, a long drought. <laughs> All right, Jason, uh, we 
answered uh, no, just adding names as the homework and kind of uh, doing some research on some potential clients. Carmen, yep, we had one last week. Uh, Rab Rabia asks, uh, who will be partnered up with for the contest? And also, by the way, Michael Zup has a Web Center Training 101 and 201 in New Jersey this week as well. All right. Antoinette, if you're if you're now enrolled, then level up what you are for this webinar. Then um, there'll be a list of the previous webinars that you can certainly access. Uh, Christy, yes, you'll. Uh, Christy asks, since it won't be available in YouTube until after the contest, if people came in late, will they have those uh, first two email to them so we can catch up? Yes. My pleasure, Jessica. Happy to help. My pleasure, Megan. My pleasure, Arvin. No, Christy, this is week three. And you can still enroll at any time. Yes, Michelle, all of the webinars are recorded and you can get the list. They'll be sent to you via email. I imagine you may have just signed up uh, before, um, before this week. Carol, uh, share with me what you're confused about, and I'll come back to your question uh, about pricing. Jessica, how much should I charge for website in the beginning? Again, you're asking questions, right? I, I know I keep going back to that, but um, you know, again, what do they need? Do they need e-commerce? Do they not need e-commerce? Uh, do they need a 10-page site or a 5-page site? All of those things will depend on what you charge for the website. Um, and then use the guidance of the sales team to help you with that. Clearly, if they're going to want e-commerce, that's a more expensive solution in the marketplace. So e-commerce websites typically go, you know, three, five, eight thousand dollars $8,000. When I've done e-commerce websites the old-fashioned way years ago, minimum was $5,000. So don't be shy about pricing an e-commerce site higher than you would a regular site. But again, ask questions, find out what their needs are first. Are there any plans for WCT 101 201 in Central Florida? Howard, uh, you mean like the Tampa area? Uh, we can certainly find out for you. George, the training for Jason Pelland is going to be um, this week coming up, this next weekend. And by the way, details on partners are coming out this week. So look forward to that, Rebea, who you who can work with. Do we have a product specialist offering a demo in Spanish? Uh, I believe we do. Did I have to double check if we still do? Um, I know we have it in Mandarin, Chinese, and of course English, um, and we can request Spanish on request. So make sure you uh, you know request that when the demo comes up. And Howard, uh, there will be some trainings coming up in Florida soon, so stay tuned. Hi, Don. Um, I thought about doing Web Center 101, 201 online. I'd be willing to pay the same cost as I have attended in person. Um, there's There was some thought uh, from time to time of doing them online, but it's really so much more powerful when they're, inter in, when they're interactive. Um, you know, conducting as, as a, on the trainer side of things, myself as a trainer, being in front of the room, actually working with people, um, you know, that's 
that's so much more impactful than being online, even in this Q and A based format here. Um, it, it's just because you're you're role playing back and forth, you're encouraging role playing. It was a little different environment. It is kind of hard to translate that strictly to an online medium. Clifford, my pleasure. Michelle, you should get those emails uh, tomorrow, if not the following day, for the webinars being, that were uh, is recorded. Elma, the partners will be discussed later this week. Exactly, Don. All depends on what they want. Again, it's asking questions. Carol, I apologize. I, I spoke too fast. Carol is asking about discussing pricing options, basic design, profits. Um, certainly, I didn't mean to confuse anyone in talking about that. But so you have the cost of the website. And then you can either build in the design center package up front. So you take the cost of the design center package, add it to the 249. So if the total then becomes 699, and then you determine your selling price to how much profit you'd like to have after that. So if you want to make Carol $600, you would then make the price of the website 1299. Then, when the client is walked through by the sales team to purchase that website, it's a comprehensive package complete with design center package. And again, I'm not including any digital marketing, which could be added to that. This is just the website with design center package. They'll see the $12.99 plus the monthly maintenance fee. So I believe that'll be $13.78 if my math uh, it does not escape me for the price the client will pay that day for the solution. It includes this, the website platform, includes the design center, and you then walk away with $600 in profit and actually 700 again, because of the design center package and then the BV associated with all of that combined, which is probably 280 BV depending upon maintenance package. Or you take the cost of the site at 249, you then say, I want to earn $600. So the minimum price is $299. So you'd actually raise that to be $999. There's your profit and the cost of the site. Then there's an option to upsell when the sales team walks through to close the site with the client. That they see a design center package that then they can add at that point. So at that point, You've got $9.99 for the cost of the, of the website. They then add the design center package to that. And then, of course, the monthly maintenance fee is added to the end of that. So it just depends on whether you want to add the design center up front or add it as an option to add afterwards. Part of it may depend on budget. If the client is very budget conscious, it could be you have the price of the site and it gives them certainly the option to do the work themselves. This DIY, right? That's one of the options we have is they can do it themselves. But then you can upsell at that point and utilize the sales team. You're not upselling. So when I say you're doing the upsell, I mean you're partnering with the sales team. They're doing the upsell. And they can upsell the design center package to say, oh, you know, Mr. Customer, you know, I know uh, budget may be a concern, but really our design center uh, team will do all the heavy lifting. They'll get everything, make a beautiful, comprehensive, mobile-friendly website for you that's ready to go that then you can carry forward. And that may sway the client, or maybe you didn't before. So Carol, I hope that helps. That is simply whether design center package is built into the solution at the beginning, or the solution is offered as a platform and the design center package is offered afterwards in the upsell with the sales team. So uh, Lawrence, you can go to mawc411.com. He's asking about where does he go for the launch of the challenge. My pleasure, Philip. Is prospects in Mexico? That's excellent. Julia, is 
are pricing still competitive these days? I'm in Australia. So, Julie, I'm not as familiar with um, some Australian offerings and, and based on the exchange rate, what may be competitive over there. But our platform, our solutions are competitive when we look as to what solution is going to cost a client. It's like anything. Can a client buy some cheap, you know, hosting and throw up a couple pages? Yeah, sure. Right. But are they going to get hit with being at disk space? Are behind the scenes unknown to the client, and I've seen this happen as well, that the hosting company will throttle or measure their bandwidth so that they're not getting the bandwidth that they need because maybe they went over one or two times. And so they've restricted them. What does that mean? That means that the client's customers may um, not experience as good a response time. Maybe as pages are slow to load. And hey, one thing about the online world is it has decreased our patience. And I'm sure you'll agree with that. We want things to be now. I want to see that information as quickly as possible. I don't expect a website to be waiting. So those kinds of services, while they may seem inexpensive, you definitely end up getting what you pay for. Our platform has unlimited everything and 24-7 phone support. Guys, I cannot express that enough. If you talk about any solution that's WordPress-based, I got to tell you, I've dealt with some of that. And a lot of those companies are email support only. Do you know how long it takes to resolve an issue going back and forth by email? Trust me, it's measured in days, not hours. To pick up a phone at 11 o'clock at night, at 1 a.m., at 1 in the afternoon, and talk to somebody, and they can help you walk through the process, that value right there, it just can't be measured to a frustrated business owner who is an expert or what he and she does, but not an expert in web design. And we're here to help them with that. Philip, uh, yes, the, uh, the Spanish, um, you can request a design a sales team member that would speak Spanish or English so they can help with that. My pleasure, Michelle. Don, if uh, Don's looking for the solution in Florida, and really want some training. Don, what I can recommend you do in the meantime is again go to mawc411.com. That has all kinds of information and the Web Center YouTube channel, all kinds of videos that you can watch uh, and just absorb all that. Plus, this challenge that you're in right now, I applaud you for being in the challenge. And that will give you a lot of information to work with until we can get a live training out to you. George, uh, what is the best way to get registered in the, the training? Uh, in northern New Jersey on the 9th. How do I find the location? Good question. Um, look on the GMTSS, and it'll be listed there in your back office. Look for Web Center Training. Michael Zupp, Z-U-P-P, -P, is the trainer. Uh, so you'll see that training in the Jersey area. Julia, uh, the basic website, 249. The design is from the template. Yes, it's from the layout. And as you said, it can be easily done by the customer by themselves uh, for zero cost if they want to do it. So we do offer both options, DIY and design center package. And I've seen customers go both ways, whatever fits for them. Okay, Carol. Carmen, I would agree. We are the best in the industry. And any of you who have ever dealt with WordPress sites, trust me, the, the allure wears off really quickly when you've got to deal with so many of the issues of upgrades and plugins and email support and everything else that might happen. George, my pleasure. Yes, Carmen, for sure. Um, you know, just real quick, a little bit of, about me, uh, besides being a web center trainer, I've been building websites since 1994. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the web, you know, we always call it the internet. But the internet's been around for decades. 
uh, but the websites, the World Wide Web, has only been around since 1992. Um, so two years after its inception, I started creating websites. So I've been dealing with websites in all shape and manner and form from the, your basic HTML to more complex languages, to WordPress, to our web center platform. And I just need to tell you, the ability for me to have a platform that all the upgrades are taken care of. I've got 24 seven phone support for me as a web center owner. So for you as a web center owner, but also for your client. And the unlimited aspect of everything that we do, the space, the storage, the bandwidth, the email accounts, all the tools available, the e-commerce ability with the shopping cart already configured, all the payment options are available. The shipping options are available. I, I can't tell you how powerful the platform is compared to everything else I've dealt with. And, and I'm, I'm being very honest with that. Um, and I got to say, if I'm sipping an umbrella drink in the Caribbean and my client needs something, they're not banging down my door. I can let them know that a toll-free number is available to them where they can call support in my absence. Now, I'm a good customer manager, so I'm going to make sure I'm involved with that client. But if I'm offline, they still have access to customer care. If I get hit by a bus, they still have access to customer care, right? Anybody working with a sole designer, if that person, anything happens to that person, their website just stopped being updated. And in some cases, they don't even know how to log into their site to make any changes because the developer has all the information and never told them. So just nothing about this platform should be devalued in any way, shape or form. It's an amazing platform. It's designed for you without having to have any technical experience to be able to provide a absolutely comprehensive, full solution to a business owner who does not need to have technical background. I can't stress that enough. My pleasure, Julia. I'm glad I was able to help. Alma, thank you very much. My pleasure. Dan, thank you very much. Um, I'm happy to help, um, you know, and offer whatever experience I can. Um, you know, just to, I, I just, I just need to make sure you guys understand that you should be bulletproof with this platform. And that I've seen it grow from version 1.0 to version 4.0, where it is now. And all the enhancements we've made, even in the past six, eight months, have been just phenomenal. Just a beautiful platform. And just takes all the headaches away that I'm used to dealing with on the, on the back end as a website developer. But also takes away the headaches on the front end that I hear other clients have to deal with that I've taken over because they've had those issues. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Dan says, we're a Kevlar vest for us. Hashtag bulletproof. I like that hashtag. We should use that. Um, yeah, so the whole thing's being recorded, including uh, the questions we've had right now, I do believe. Uh, yeah, it is being recorded. So if Jason uh, makes these available as part of um, that recording, otherwise, uh, to saying, you know, feel free to reach out to um, myself or another trainer and to, you know, or on our MA Web Center owner platform for the Facebook page. If you're not a member of the Facebook page, please join that group. It's MA Web Center owners uh, Facebook group. And there is a wealth of people on there, including myself, to answer your questions. My pleasure, Tuzing. All right. Any other questions before we sign off? I want to make sure you guys get all the information you guys need to be successful. <laughs> My pleasure, Carol. Uh, Carol says you sold me all over again. Uh, great. That's That's what I... Uh, you know, I want to do is, is make sure you guys know this platform and know how important it is for you and your client. 
My pleasure, Carmen. Always good to see you on the on the seven on the webinars. My pleasure, Gina. Antoinette, my pleasure. And I again, I hope I didn't confuse anyone with the pricing. Um, just you know, I want to make sure everyone understands. It's simply where the design center package is added to the solution before, or as an option uh, after. Either way, your profit is built in to how you price it. Uh, Julia, again, my name is Chip. Emily, like chocolate chip. All right, no further questions. Guys, hey, I appreciate your time tonight. I know we've gone a little longer than uh, normal, and I appreciate you guys being on. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I commend you for uh, being on this webinar tonight. Um, and let me just give you the, the exact name of that Facebook group. I may have truncated it in my description. It's Web Center Owner Support is the group. Web Center Owner Support. That's for you, Arvin. All right. Again, just uh, to reiterate the resources available to you. I know you're going to hear this a lot, but it's just it's a wealth of information is mawc411.com, the Web Center Owner Support Facebook group, MA Web Center's YouTube channel is all there to help you. Great, Arvin, glad you found it. Um, you know, they're available to you to uh, learn in between trainings. And I also encourage you, if there is a trainer that comes into your area, you know, get to that training, even as a refresher for the 101 or 201. Um, you know, and if you have a member of your team that's a budding a web center owner, that's perfect to get them to that training, get them trained as well. Guys, again, thank you very much for your time tonight. Uh, I appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing some of you guys either in trainings or at our uh, bigger events. When I see you in the area, please come up and say hi. All right. Have a great night. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.